Welcome to Ocean County Focus. I'm Donna Flynn, your host. Joining me today is Ocean County Clerk Scott Colabella, and we're talking about how you can cast your ballot this year in the 2021 general election. Scott, thank you so much for joining me here okay. today. Delighted. Um, we, we, we met here probably around the same time last year talking about that general election. Mm -hmm. And this year, um, Ocean County voters, just like voters across the state of New Jersey, will be finding some different ways to vote. And I'm hoping that we can kind of sort out some of this information okay. during the next half an hour. Okay. Um, tell me about the general election for November 2nd this year. What will people find? Okay, well, the first major difference is uh, the voters will be able to go to their polling location. Which is very exciting. Yes, yes. Um, we're asked a lot of times, are we going to get a ballot in the mail? Only if you applied or requested one. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, your other option will be, and we're going to talk about it, early voting. But uh, the bottom line, you asked about November 2nd, and your polling place will be open. You'll be getting a sample ballot. In case you forgot where that is or it's changed, and you'll be able to cast your ballot on a machine. Now, is it the state that mandates how people vote? Tell me, talk, yes. talk a little, address that yes. a little well, bit as to, um, as to where these come from, if, where these changes come from. If voters aren't aware, last year, obviously, uh, the governor issued two executive orders um, regarding elections, the primary and the general, mm -hmm. and he mandated that. Uh, for the most part, it was a vote-by-mail election. Every registered voter got a ballot in the mail. And um, uh, unless you wanted to vote provisionally or you were handicapped, uh, you could not go to your polling place, and there were limited polling places. Right. And uh, this year, uh, the change has been uh, no executive order issued, number one. We had a primary, in fact, in June mm -hmm. where you could go to your polling place. Um, and... Uh, but the change for the early voting came about through the legislature, and then the governor signed that legislation, and it's now law. Mm -hmm. Now, this early voting is 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 throughout number a number of states at this point, though yes. it's not like um, this is brand it's brand new, of course, to New Jersey. Yes. But yeah. we do know of other states that do this. Yes, many other states um, have been doing this for years, so we're coming along later than other states, if mm -hmm. you will. We're not innovators in this. But as you mentioned, it is new to election officials and it's new to voters. How much work has been going in to get this underway? Oh my goodness. Um, the boards of elections and the county clerks and the county IT departments and uh, the commissioners and uh, public affairs <laughs> departments are all busy because we have to educate the voters about this. We have to learn how it works. And uh, it's it's a lot of man hour, manpower hours that are going in to uh, make this work. Great. I mean, let's talk about Election Day first, sure. November 2nd. Yep. Um, again, as we had said last year, uh, the, the, the people, folks using the polls, the, the, the numbers were limited. Mm -hmm. um, but this year, there is in-person, on yes. a machine voting again. Correct. Will, in Ocean County, will I see anything different, though, at you, those polling places? You will. Um, and it ties in with early voting, but this will just apply in Osha County. We're using the voting machines we've used for years on election, on election day. day, correct. Right. However, when voters go into their polling place, they're gonna notice something totally different. We're no longer going to use uh, paper bound books for voters to sign their name in before they cast their ballot. Uh, we're going to be using electronic poll books mm -hmm. throughout the state and throughout the county. And uh, if a voter could visualize when you go um, at a retail store and you do a transaction and you use your credit, credit card and you swipe it and you sign your name on a pad, right. that's exactly how you're going to register to vote and sign in on mm -hmm. a pad mm -hmm. um, with the poll worker assisting you. Mm -hmm. um, so that's going to be different at early voting and it's gonna be different um, uh, on election day. But once you do that, you'll go into the machine on election day as normal and you'll be done. Mm -hmm. Early voting, be different. Now, why change to the e-polling books? Um, what, what are the are there benefits? To, uh, what are the benefits? Yeah, there, um, first of all, as you can imagine, the cumbersome of having uh, 
bound books right. and right. disseminating them throughout a county that has over 400,000 registered voters. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, one of the key needs was we needed this for early voting. Okay. Why? Um, at early voting, and I'm sure we'll get into it, but may maybe we'll jump ahead a little. Mm -hmm. We cannot have, uh, we have um, 33 municipalities in Osha County. Right. They all have different ballots. Sure. We can't have 33 voting machines at every early voting site okay. um, for early voting. Mm -hmm. We need to be able to have a ballot that will appear on a machine for each municipality. And with the e-poll books, the same way. It will have the uh, voter registration database for every registered voter there oh, so is it, in the it, county. So it won't mat you do not have to in early voting. Um, we have 10 locations, we'll get into that further, mm -hmm. but you don't have to live in the municipality where the early voting location is. You can live anywhere in the county and the e-poll book will now have every registered voter and be, the poll worker will be able to look you up and find you. Could you imagine having 33 versions of poll books? Yeah, it, yes, it, it just yeah, can't that, be yeah, done. It just wouldn't be manageable so, um, at that point. That, that's the big reason, but um, it, again, we're not the first state to do this. Right. Electronic poll books have been used for years across the country, and um, we're now joining a lot of our other states in doing this. Right. I mean, again, um, and we'll start to talk a little bit about mm -hmm. early voting now. Sure. We have just a couple of minutes left in yeah. this segment. But um, so when, so again, it, it sounds a little a little a little confusing mm -hmm. but again it, mm -hmm. it really does become a convenience mm -hmm. you had mentioned before that there are 10 sites mm -hmm. for early voting right. where are those sites and how are they okay. determined gotcha um, well our board of elections the commissioners there are four of them um, had to work with their staff and again this is all part of the law of early voting. They had to follow state law in selecting these. They had to go throughout the county and have to be geographically centered. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you can't have all of them in the northern part of the county right. or the central part of the county or the southern. You have to expand them. Mm -hmm. and then they have a ton of requirements for what meet the standards of a location, security, right. um, convenience, parking, handicap accessibility. Um, and so that's how they, they've basically uh, found that the county library system mm -hmm. has a wonderful, as you're aware, and hopefully our uh, Ocean County residents are, wonderful facilities throughout the county. Mm -hmm. So I believe eight of the 10 locations are at county library facilities. The one in Tom's River is at the main library branch here. Okay. Um, the Mancini room is what they're going to utilize. Mm -hmm. And... Um, so they had to select them. And once they selected them, if there was a tie in the vote, the county clerk would have had to break the tie. Uh, fortunately, our four commissioners agreed and their staff on 10 locations and they are spread out throughout the county. Uh, we have one at our Southern Service Center mm -hmm. in Manahawkin. Mm -hmm. um, so people on the island there and in Tuckerton and Little Lake Harbor can avail themselves of that. Mm -hmm. um, we have one in Brick, we have one in Lakewood, Berkeley, uh, Manchester, um, uh, one on Lavalette on the Barrier Islands there. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, they're, they're located, I'm just gonna take a sneak peek in case I did say Manchester, Berkeley, Brick, Jackson, Lacey, Lakewood, Lavalette, Little Lake Harbor, Manahawkin, Manchester, and Tom's River. They're all on our website. Okay. I know I rattled that <laughs> off quickly <laughs> where you can helpful. see the, the, the addresses and so okay. forth. Scott, we're actually gonna take a quick break. And when we come back, we're gonna be talking a little bit more about how to cast your ballot, ballot in this November's election. We'll be right back. The Ocean County Board of Commissioners, working to make Ocean County a better place to call home, and a special place to visit. 
Welcome back to Ocean County Focus. Joining me today is Ocean County Clerk Scott Colabella, and we are talking about casting your ballot this November in the general election. Scott, when we went to break, we started to talk about early voting in Ocean County, which of course will be held throughout the state of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. um, when exactly are we, can, can people start early okay. voting in Ocean County? Um, it's coming up quickly. It's gonna be Saturday, October 23rd, and uh, it will go on until Halloween, October 31st. Mm -hmm. uh, the hours uh, Monday, I'm sorry, Saturday through um, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday are 10 in the morning till eight. Mm -hmm. Sunday is 10 till six. So it's seven days a week yes. then? Okay. Yes, yep. yep. Um, how, how, again, it, it sounds a little confusing and I know it's more convenient, mm -hmm. but I just mm -hmm. try, want to try to establish the convenience sure. part of it. Sure. You have 10 locations, which you had gone through mm -hmm. in the first segment of the show, um, but there's 33 municipalities. There's 33 different mm -hmm. elections, if mm -hmm. you will. I mean, mm -hmm. governor is one thing or, mm -hmm. you know, but, but again, you have local elections and stuff. Yes. So how do I leave my town, go to another town? How can I vote in that other town okay. when there's only 10 polling districts? Okay, well, for, believe for early voting. 10 sites, right. Um, you can, and that's the, uh, the advancement of technology. Uh, and that's why the county and all the other counties in the state had to purchase new voting equipment. Because right. as I said earlier, we couldn't put out 33 of our current machines in every uh, polling place location. Imagine the, you know, trying to get that all into a building and, mm -hmm. and so forth. So um, the new technology will allow a voter, what's going to happen at early voting after you do that e-poll book, right. you're going to get a card, like a credit card. Mm -hmm. It's a white card, a voter card. Mm -hmm. Voter's going to bring that over to a monitor, um, a screen that is the the voting device, and they're going to insert that card in, and uh, what's coded on that card is the ballot for your where you're registered to vote for your town. Okay. So on that screen will come up the appropriate ballot. Say we're in Tom's River here, and you need a Tom's River ballot. Make it a little more complicated. There are more than 33 versions of a ballot. Tom's River and Berkeley have ward elections this year. Right, correct. So within those towns, there are four different versions wow. of a ballot. Um, so in any event, the, the ballot comes up and the voter will simply depress on the screen the name of the candidate of their choice if uh, it uh, assures them they can't overvote because if you go to vote for two candidates for the same office, it won't allow you. Okay. Uh, it'll fill in the oval that voters are used to seeing on their vote by mail ballots. And uh, once they're done, they review it, they will print it, and they'll get a paper version of the ballot. We'll go on, I'm going, getting advanced from your questions, <laughs> I'm sure, but no, that's okay. you, you that's asked fine. how they would be able to do right. it, and, and that's how we'll, the technology will allow us. So to clear up confusion of voters, I hear often, well, I live in Tuckerton, so I'm not gonna have an early voting center in my town, I guess I can't. No, nope. you can go to the Southern Service Center right. in Manahawkin, mm -hmm. and you will be able to avail yourself of the Tuckerton ballot. Mm -hmm. It's actually, when you think about it, the technology really is amazing, that mm -hmm. basically it you've is. taken, you're condensing almost this entire county into 10 different yes. 10 different sites that yes. you, can, you can vote during Absolutely. the nine day period. Yep. What yep. happens at the end of the nine days? I mean, do we know what the votes do we tally the votes at that point no. do so what happens no, at the end again of that? we have to look at the law that was passed and follow it so the board of elections uh, will close down the early voting centers the night of october 31st mm -hmm. and the cartridges containing the results to those machines mm -hmm. will be housed back at the board of elections in tom's river under secure security watched and they are not allowed to begin to tally those results until eight o'clock the night of the election when all of the everything. polls have closed so no one gets early results of, right. of any of the early voting how do we stop people though from i requested a mail-in ballot mm -hmm. And now I, I, I mailed in the ballot, but it's really close to the election. I don't know if it's gonna make it. Mm -hmm. 
what if I go to the polls at that yeah. point? What happens? Uh, basically the same thing that, that has gone on for years. If you voted by mail and then you attempted to go to your polling place on election day and vote on a machine, the poll worker would uh, before have to look at a paper list when okay. they're looking you up mm -hmm. and they would see you voted by mail. Sorry, you're, we're not going to allow you into a machine. Now it'll be identified on that electronic poll book the voters that were issued a vote by mail ballot, and even if they didn't return that vote by mail ballot, they are not going to allow them to cast a ballot that'll be counted at an early voting site or on election day if they go to their polling place. And vice versa, uh, suppose a voter goes to an early voting site, cast a ballot on the machine, right. and then they come to our office or apply for a vote by mail ballot. Our office has access to that same database that will show, I'm sorry, you cast a ballot at an early voting site. We cannot give you a vote by mail ballot. So you so. have a lot of safeguards that have put into yeah. place here so that somebody, I mean, I think there's a concern. I mean, well, Absolutely. I have 10 days to go vote here and I have a day to go there and I could Absolutely. do a mail-in ballot here. So there has to be safeguards put Absolutely. in. Do, 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 should people feel comfortable? They, in they should. There's been a lot of thought, and we talked earlier about the manpower and right. the, the money that has been dedicated to make sure this works. Um, uh, yeah, you have to. We, we have to. People are concerned that their vote counts. Yes. It's done right securely. And we left out the other scenario where someone would think, oh, okay, I'm going to go to the early voting center in Tom's River. Then I'm going to, because the ballots are available everywhere, I'm going to drive over to Manchester and get in there. Same thing. Mm -hmm. As soon as it's been entered in that system that you've been allowed to vote, a, all 10 sites yeah. know about right. it. Um, and our office knows about it. Mm -hmm. So that the phrase from someone, you know, voting multiple times. So, And I also heard this was a pretty interesting um, feature on, on the new e-poll books is that if I go to the wrong site to vote yes. on election on day, election day. what happens? Okay. Uh, and this does happen because we, I want to talk about the sample ballot. I'm mm -hmm. sure we'll get a chance to do that. It's another tool we use to try and help voters um, is that uh, sometimes they voting places change and with COVID the board has had a difficult time in certain areas where places used to uh, ha house polling places and they cannot get in them anymore. Mm -hmm. So they may go to the wrong polling site. Uh, with these new e-poll books the poll worker will be able to say you know what uh, Mrs. Smith you need to go over to the facility in another part of Brick Township. Right. And here's a map, and we could email you the map if you want right. to go. So it, that is a nice tool that, again, all in the, the mode of trying to help, yeah, help the, people. Yeah, I mean, the technology features, I think, are, are, are pretty incredible. Mm -hmm. And again, the idea that the technology is also helping to safeguard the integrity of every sure. vote, I think, right. is very key for this upcoming Absolutely. election, too. Absolutely. And we're actually going to take a quick break, okay. and we're going to be right back here on Ocean County Focus. The Ocean County Board of Commissioners, working to make Ocean County a better place to call home and a special place to visit. And welcome back to Ocean County Focus. Scott, when we went to break, we were talking about early mm. voting and there's some new steps that people will be experiencing sure. and some new steps for your, for the poll workers and that sort of thing. And I just wanted to, before we mm. moved on to some of the other areas in, the, in, the, in how to cast a ballot this November, the provisional ballot. If I walked into an early voting um, site and they can't find me mm. at all, what mm -hmm. happens? Okay, you can, as you always have been able to, um, uh, vote provis provisionally. The mm -hmm. difference is uh, they used to give you a paper ballot. Okay. Um, now you're still going to get one of these cards that I talked about go over to the machine and a provisional ballot will appear. The only difference is that you cannot, and this will pick up 
where we left off talking about the new machines and voting process is uh, one of the mandates was they had to be a certifiable paper um, uh, uh, tracking of, right. of these ballots. And um, now we will have the, it will print out what you saw on the screen. That's mm -hmm. the certifiable paper trail. Mm -hmm. And um, the provisional ballot will just go back to the poll worker because they're determined after the election by right. the board. So that will um, go in with the other with the other ones, if you will. There's right. almost a separation. But of them. Um, uh, those who are voting and they didn't have a problem looking them up when they get their printed out ballot, they are going to be assisted over to a tabulator and they're going to insert their ballot where it will be scanned and counted on the tabulator. And even just, you know, even with the, with the pens that will be used for early voting, what, what, what will voters find that are different yes. about that? Okay, so we're still in this uh, age of COVID, unfortunately. And um, uh, a lot of fingerprints, if you can think of this in your process, if you were going to sign your name by finger on this pad and then go over to a machine and be touching it, it, not so good. Yeah. So uh, the poll workers are going to issue a stylus pen mm -hmm. as soon as you ne they need your signature on that pad, and you're going to keep that pen and go over to the voting machine and use that to to make your selections. And you can toss it when you're you're done, um, either at the early voting site or on election day. Right. Um, uh, so that takes care of a nice safety yeah, health issue. Absolutely, absolutely. And that's yeah. another, a good, another safeguard, um, you know, when it comes to protecting voters as they go to the yeah. polls this year. Yeah. Yeah. Um, vote by mail this year, mm -hmm. have you, again, while you didn't send out 450,000 correct ballots, um, are you still seeing, vote, uh, you know, an interest in vote yeah. by mail? Yeah, yeah. The, um, we, our office has issued over 50,000 we have 400,000, over 400,000 registered voters in the county, and over 50,000 have been mailed out ballots. Okay. So the key with that is, of course, those it's too late now for those folks to change their mind. If they do, they're not going to be able to vote on the machine at early voting or election day, only provisional ballots. Okay. But um, we have the drop boxes, which we didn't mention. We right. in introduced those last year. Mm -hmm. They're still all over the county. Mm -hmm. So if you uh, feel unsure about putting your, your vote by mail ballot in the postal service, you have the drop box or you can bring them personally back to the board of elections right. up until eight o'clock on election. Okay, night. so you can't, so that goes up to that time. Yeah. You, you cannot bring them to your polling place. And drop them list. off, right. <laughs> right, we, you know, it doesn't hurt to, we, we don't oh, want no, anybody absolutely. to say we didn't tell them. Yep, so. abs absolutely, absolutely. Now, I know you brought a sample ballot I with you. Did, and I would and just like to go over some sure. of the key information on the sample ballots. Absolutely. So uh, voters uh, will be getting a sample ballot, hopefully before early voting starts. And obviously, it's going to look like this. going to have your polling place on it. Mm -hmm. So you want to check that carefully. And then it's a two-sided ballot. So one full side is dedicated to just early voting because it's all new, right? Right. So there's a brief explanation of the hours and uh, what early voting is all about. We have new instructions because it's a new machine mm -hmm. and you get a prototype layout of the ballot to make yourself familiar with it. There will also be available at the early voting sites this same image on a computer so voters could look at it again. Okay, so they have, forget to bring this with them. Right, so you have instructions all, all along the way, And, and at the will. bottom, we list all the Dropbox locations. If you happen to vote by mail, but you haven't sent it back in, it gives you the locations. We also give you all the early voting site locations, the addresses on here. Our website is listed, oceancountyclerk.com, uh, plus the State Division of Elections, the Board of Elections, and then you flip to the other side, and if you're going to be an election day voter, this is your sample ballot for the machines we've used for years in Ocean County. Two state questions. Um, just a reminder, we know there's a lot of offices on the ballot. Governor, the entire state legislature, Senate, Assembly. We have two county commissioner seats, 
a lot of local municipal seats, and we have school board elections oh, wow. as well. Yeah, that's, yeah. Um, and some municipalities have local questions besides the two state questions. So it's a large ballot, but this piece of paper, your sample ballot, is will be a helpful tool. Also, if for whatever reason you don't get it in the mail, call us up, but it's gonna be on our website as well. Right. Every sample ballot for every municipality or town that you live in. Um, and they'll be available at the early polling sites and on election day. Mm -hmm. uh, they have to have a sample ballot posted as well. So, and valuable. To, yes, and everyone should be looking in their, in their mail for that. And again, if they, if they don't see it, as you had said, it was, it's helpful that it's still available online and stuff. Sure. What are some of the key dates that you might have coming up when it comes to the election? Yeah, well, as you can imagine, uh, during this taping, we're getting close to the election. Sure. So, um, some are, are, uh, may have passed when somebody's tuning in, but voter registration is, is very tight to deadline on this. Mm -hmm. um, it is actually the day after Columbus Day, just okay. for posterity. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to register after that for this election. Um, vote by mail, we've talked about that. We're coming down towards the end. If you uh, are applying with a paper application, you can get it on our website or you can get it throughout the county, most municipal clerks. Mm -hmm. If you mail that in, it's got to be postmarked a week before the election, which is um, Tuesday, October 26th, I believe. I'm okay. scoping for a date, but I'm almost positive that's seven days before November 2nd. After that, you'd either have to early vote or come in person to our office. I left out in Manahawkin, not only is there an early voting site, we have a satellite office there right. where okay. now you could go and get a vote by mail ballot mm -hmm. as well. Will you also be providing, because I know in the past you've, you've allowed, um, you've had people come into the offices like on Saturday um, to kind of be able to, to take care of some of this. Early voting is going to take the place of that okay. now. All right. Um, and, and in fact, people that come in person to our office, and I'm going to explain the convenience um, difference in that. If you came into our office um, after you can't do early voting or vote by mail um, through the mail, um, if you came to our office, all we'd be able to do is give you a paper ballot and then you still have to figure out how you're going to get that in. Okay. You're either gonna have to walk to the Board of Elections, you're gonna have to trust the US mail days before mm -hmm. an election, or you're gonna have to put it in a drop box. If you opt for early voting, it's done right. in one place. Right. And the nice thing is they'll be there till eight o'clock at night, except for Sunday, which is six o'clock, 10 a.m. until eight or 10 to six. And you can vote on a machine and you're done. Right. So right. Um, that's really gonna take the difference of we were the only, the clerk's office used to be the only place you could get a ballot prior to an election. Right. That it, we're one of the places, yeah. and if you want to still vote that way, mm -hmm. you can do it during our normal business hours. But now we have early voting available that um, people have. There's no excuse not to participate. Right, which is great, That's and that's a great way to end the show. We're also going to be providing the phone numbers, the key phone numbers um, during the show that people can see it. Um, as they watch the show and everything. And again, just to go over it again, three different ways. And you can you can tell us those three different ways okay. one more time so as we get ready you, to wrap you up. You want to vote by mail? You can do that. Um, 732-929-2018 is our office number. Uh, as uh, Donna said, the website is on. Um, early voting starts October 23rd, ends on Halloween, October 31st. 10 sites in the county. And finally, election day, November 2nd, polls are open at 6 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. So three ways to vote. Scott, thank you so much. Hey, you guys thanks. do such a great job with this. And thank thanks. you all for joining us today. Don't forget to vote on November 2nd. Thank you.